apparently courtship between a role-playing game and a first-person shooter can take a little time. Borderlands was announced in 2007, but it wasn't until this year that Gearbox's wasteland crawling hybrid was properly revealed. Reborn in a cel-shaded art style. It has leveling up and a randomized loot system, but plays like a first-person shooter. So what is Borderlands really all about? I'm gonna eat you when I'm done! The setting is the recently colonized and ominously named Planet Pandora. It turns out that instead of being rich in mineral resources, it's actually rich in plain old dirt and fugly dog-like creatures called skags. Save for a few helpful souls around town, most of the planet's population seems to be comprised of Mad Max-style lawless bandits who patrol the desert in battle buggy shooting anything that moves. Ow! Your job is to help folks out, dole out justice with whatever weapons you have at hand, and investigate any mysteries you come across. The vault is here, and we will find it. You can choose from one of four characters who resemble different classes a la a team-based shooter, like soldier or sniper. Your abilities and strengths may be a little bit different, but you can be sure that everyone present knows how to handle a gun. You may actually feel some World of Warcraft influence as you're eased into the game. You customize your character by investing points in a skill tree, and visit your friendly neighborhood quest giver to take on and cash in different tasks. Greetings, Traveler! New missions are available at the Firestone Bounty Board! Despite including so many RPG elements, Borderlands sticks close to its shooter roots. With Halo-like shields and the iron sights of Call of Duty, combat is clearly in the guns and ammo domain, despite the hit point bars, damage numbers, and critical hit indicators flying out of enemies. There's no pausing the action here, so your best bet is off the crouch, zoom in, and aim for the face. If you're a fan of vehicles, they're in here too, and in addition to getting you from point A to point B, they seem to be pretty well suited to launching off ramps. While you can buy some of the essentials like ammunition, scavenging loot is a big part of the game. You'll always be on the lookout for cash, and random piles of crap could hold hidden treasures. Anytime you see a large sealed crate, it's almost a sure thing that there's a shiny new weapon in it. Let's see what we've got. Borderlands promises a truly ridiculous number of guns created through combinations of various parts. You can't customize weapons yourself, but almost everything you pick up seems to look and behave a little differently than other guns. Whether it's an automatic pistol that sets people on fire, or a simple but brutally effective machine gun, the game has the clear intention of appealing to your inner loot fiend. One of the game's other interesting features is the ability to invite friends into your game at any time to help out with your missions. Up to four players can run together as a group, and you can drop in or drop out any time. You're meant to cooperate, but it is possible to initiate a duel with another player if you feel the need to let off some steam. There seem to be a lot of good ideas in Borderlands, but how well are things going to hold up when it comes out of the blender? We'll find out if the game is able to turn lawless chaos into fun later on in October. Is there no end to my power?